Hi, my name is Alan Tao and I help students master AP Physics 1. Today I actually want to talk to you about what to do over the summer to get a little bit of a head start in AP Physics 1. So if you are nervous and you're taking AP Physics 1 next year and you're kind of like, oh man, I don't know what to do. Should I study a little bit? What could I do to get ahead and prepare? First of all, kudos that you're motivated to do this. I actually do encourage a little bit of a head start, especially if you've never taken physics before. It's always good to like start off like a little bit just to make the beginning of the year pretty simple. Here are some of my tips when it comes to preparing for AP Physics 1 over the summer. The first thing is really important is to set a schedule for yourself. Now, do not try to learn all of physics over the summer. You want to set a realistic goal, realistic schedule. I would aim for maybe the first one or two units of AP Physics 1 kinematics and maybe forces. Some students try to do everything over the summer. They don't, it's not very effective. Those kinds of programs out there that like, you know, they teach you all of AP Physics 1 over the summer. They're not very good because one, it's like a fire hose. You learn it way too fast and you don't really absorb it. And then two, you don't really remember it. It's not going to really stick around because it was just so fast. Maybe you memorized the beginning parts or some equations and you got through it, but like, you start off the year and you're like, I don't remember anything I did. So they're not very effective. So set something kind of realistic for yourself that you can build mastery on. So it's important to set a schedule. The other thing is to set aside time to actually practice AP problems. Okay, so you cannot just watch lessons and watch people solve problems and then think you're going to be able to figure it out. You have to actually put some practice. So you have to set aside time where you're actually going to do problems and you're actually going to practice. I would encourage you to do a lot of AP style problems. Textbook problems tend to not align very well with how AP questions end up being. And that's what most people tend to struggle with is that the, they do textbook problems in school, but their tests may be from AP classroom or, you know, AP exam style questions. And they're very, very different in terms of the style. So you want to get used to the style by looking at past AP problems by topic and practicing doing those problems. The last thing is just like do a little each day. That's like the really thing I would really stress is just try to do a little bit each each week. Don't try to cram it all into like a short amount of time, but really space it out and just try to gain a mastery, gain a full understanding of the topic. I actually want to show you what my schedule looks like for the summer program that I run. Um, it looks like this. So kinematics, the first week we're doing some motion and the kinematic equations. We're doing free fall. We're doing graphs of motion. We project down motion. And then we do a lot of practice, right? And that's five weeks. That's a month to just do kinematics. That's a little bit slower than what you would do in the school year, but you got summer, you got some time. This, for me, I would spend no more than two, three hours a week doing this. And if you could just dedicate on your summer two to three hours a week, you can get through this part and have a pretty good understanding of kinematics. And then if you wanted to, the next five weeks, I would probably look at like, you know, how to do Newton's laws and free body diagrams, solving free body diagrams, doing inclined planes, doing frictional force, doing spring forces. And then again, AP practice at the end to just kind of summarize. You're, you're going to do being practice as you're going through these, but then like putting it all together like a summary. And those are the first two modules in AP physics. And that's already 10 weeks. Honestly, that might be a little ambitious to do over the summer. I have some students who like to do that, who want to do that, or maybe get through part of it. Something like that. Nothing too crazy. It's got to be sustainable. It's got to be something that you're willing to put in some time and effort into. And that's kind of how I pace it out. And you do that, it's going to be pretty sustainable. So the beginning of the year, you'll reinforce this part, reinforce these things. When you learn it in school, it won't be so fresh and so new, and that will set you up with a good foundation for the later units. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys have any questions about what to do over the summer or looking up resources? Let me know what other questions you might have about prepping over the summer, if you have any, and I can answer that in a future video. I'll see you guys next time.